Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel Peterisms where I tell stories of my life and just little things that I have learned as I have grown into the person that I am today. And we just got done doing a review video. I say us because I mean myself and the dogs. We just reviewed a bark box and Boo Radley was like chewing on this thing behind me, this little tree, this salmon patty tree and Tucker was chewing one like right on my leg and so I feel like I have like gooey fish treat stuff all over me <laughs> but anyway how are you guys doing today happy Wednesday it's almost Christmas I can't believe it all right let's get right into the meditations today you guys I just realized I forgot my reading glasses it's okay it's okay I don't need them every day so well I mean I do need them every day but some days when it's a little bit brighter in here it's easier than other days so let's check out um the language of letting go and see what it has to say because my friend Tani and I last night were talking a lot about um, codependency on the way home. We uh, went to my um, our meeting last night, our home group meeting, and I got my coin for uh, my sobriety birthday. And then myself and Tanya and our sponsor and some of our friends went out to dinner last night to Applebee's and exchanged Christmas presents. It was so much fun. We had such a good time. So, um, all right, let's get into this. Oh, I like this meditation. This is, well, I haven't, I don't, I'm sure I've read it. I don't remember it, but it's called Good Things Coming. December 22nd. Do not worry about how the good that has been planned for you will come. It will come. Do not worry, obsess. Think you have to control it. Go out hunting for it. Or tangle your mind trying to figure out how and when it will find you. It will find you. Surrender to your higher power each day. Trust your higher power. Then stay peaceful. Trust and, trust and listen to yourself. That is how the good you want will come to you. You're healing your joy, your relationships, your solutions, that job, that desired change, that opportunity. It will come to you naturally with ease and in a host of ways. That answer will come. The direction will come. The money, the idea, the energy, the creativity, the path will open itself to you. Trust that for it has already been planned. It is futile, a waste and drain of energy to worry about how it will come. It is already there. You have to hear the neighbor dog outside. <laughs> you have it already. It is in place. You just cannot see it. You will be brought to it or it will be brought to you. Today I will relax and trust that the good I need will find me. Eve even or either through my leadings or the leadings of others, all I want and need will come to me when the time is right. I really, really like this meditation. Um, you know, it's interesting because every once in a while in a meditation or in a vlog or something, you know, I'll say, whoever needs to hear this out there, because I always know that there's probably one person out there that needs to hear this, whoever that needs to hear this out there, things are going to be okay. Like, things are going to get better. Um, you know, this too shall pass and the sun will shine again. I'm a believer in that. I really, really am. And, it, and it's not just BS to me. It's not just, you know, words for an inspirational book or a motivational plaque that you put up on your wall. I really, truly believe it because it has been proven to me in time um, that there were times in my life when I thought, this is never going to get better. Things are never going to be any better than they were before. And, you know, and I felt very, very stuck. I've had many periods of my life where I struggled getting out of bed on a daily basis, where I struggled even going to work or doing anything. When in the back of my mind, you know, I could give advice to other people. I can remember my mom really, you know, I, my mother su uh, suffered from clinical depression, but I'm not really talking so much about that in this period. I'm talking about other periods where she just felt stuck and sad and, you know, lonely. And, and I would say, you know, mom, if you like went and got a job, you know, because my mom didn't work a lot and she struggled even keeping jobs. But I would say, you know, mom, even if you just got like a job, you know, like you would be, you'd meet people to do stuff with and hang out and whatever. And she'd say, oh, you're, I know you're right, but I, you know, I don't want to. And I mean, there was always excuses. And like, even though I knew that and I gave it, you know, oh, mom, call up a friend, go to dinner, do this, you know, get in a book club, do whatever, you know, 50 things I could give my mom's, my mom as, you know, suggestions to improve her life. Like at periods of my life where I really struggled and was down. And, and low and felt like things weren't going to get any better. And usually mine, this is interesting, mine usually correlate with breakups of relationships because in the past I have been so codependent 
on relationships and needing somebody to like, you know, if I'm not with somebody, then who am I kind of th idea. And that relationship and a, and a man defines me is how I felt for much of my life before I think I even was cognizant of it to really fully realize it. And so, you know, I, but I got through those periods. I did, you know, I, I would eventually get up and start doing stuff around the house. I can like actually see myself at one point um, in a past relationship and like, I'm like, well, I can see myself walking around and I would do the crossword every day and it was just started with that. Like, I, for some reason I see a glass of orange juice, so I must have like drank orange juice every morning and you know, I can see myself sitting there doing the crossword, drinking orange juice and a cup of coffee and not really wanting to do anything, not really wanting to talk to anybody, but eventually things did get better. I also, so, I think it is important to say that in videos that you're gonna be, for me to say that in videos for the one person out there that needs to hear it or the two or whatever you're gonna be okay I know you're going through a really hard time right now you know um, life and, and life has its ups and downs and, and I you know what the hardest thing for me is when um, like I've known people or people will come to me and say but I like really had it tough for a really really long time like years on end and I sometimes don't really know what to say you know it's, I, I mean it's one thing to say to people like life's gonna be okay and it's gonna get better but when you've had it for tough for so long you know I don't know I, I usually say to that person what can I do to make it better is there anything that I can do to make it better just even something small you know and um I don't know, but I also really like the other part of this meditation, um, not to be such a Debbie Downer, the other part of this meditation that I like on here, um, <laughs> or a pessimistic Paul, but the other thing I like about this is the idea of that we are on a journey, because I really truly do believe that, and um, you know, I, I, I've heard this saying in recovery for a long time, and I, and I loved it the first time that I heard it, because I needed to hear it, and I love it as well now, and that is when people say, you're exactly where you need to be, you know? Um, it was something that I don't think I believed often in early sobriety. I always felt like, you know, like I'm so behind on stuff and whatever, but today I feel like I'm exactly where I need to be in my life, you know, and with things that are going on in my life. And I do believe that I'm on a journey. I do believe that I'm on a path going somewhere. And I think that there is a plan for me. I personally believe that you don't have to believe that. Right. But like, here's the thing <laughs> you can try as hard as you want to control the world. You can try as hard as you want to control your life, which I mean, we really only have control over our choices and our responses to things, but we don't even have control over the responses to our our responses. We don't even have control to how things happen based on the choices that we make, right? So you can try as hard as you want to control the world around you, but it, you won't be successful. You know, I mean, that's one of the things that we talk about in sobriety is being the player and the director, you know, and if everybody would just do what I wanted them to do, the life would, life would work out much better. But that's not how the real world works, you know, and we know that, and we know that we can't have control over things. So as hard as we try, you know, and even if you don't have a higher power, it's like, at some point, you have to just realize, like, okay, the tides are going to come, the wind is going to come, the weather is going to come, and I'm kind of like, breakups are going to happen, people are going to die, the world's going to go on, and can I be part, am I going to choose to be part of that, or am I going to choose to be resistant to that? And I think for many years, I was resistant to that. I did not want to accept change. I would say I hate change, right? Well, I don't love change today, but I invite it into my life because I think that with change comes new opportunities, comes new people that we meet in our lives, new friends, things like that. You know, I think about the years that I never, like, I was like, I never really want to meet, like, tons more people, and I only need Tanya, and all this kind of stuff, and then it was like, we met our friends Melissa and Jason, who became, like, the greatest couple friend that we have, you know, and it's like, I'm so grateful for them, but that was also at a time that I wasn't really wanting to meet a lot of new people, I was scared to meet a lot of new people, um, and I'm just so thankful that I did, you know? Um, so I don't love change today, but with it comes new opportunities. And I think that when you realize that you're on this road and of, of life, that's going to continue until it doesn't, you know, and you just kind of accept that and the lessons that come along with it, life goes a lot easier and then we enjoy it a lot more, you know? I like this journey. And, I'm, and today, I'm enjoying it. I don't know about tomorrow, but... Life is good today. And for those of you out there, like I said, that are struggling, I hope things get better for you. And I believe that they will. And I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.